Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a population pyramid to make your point. Imagine that you are the mayor of Tinker, a fictional town located in the Midwest. Unfortunately, the town fell upon hard times 10 years ago, when the region's largest employer, a coal mine, closed down. Attempting to revitalize the local economy, you introduce cash grants and tax credits to businesses willing to relocate to Tinker five years ago. This incentive program worked beyond your wildest dreams, transforming Tinker into a thriving tech hub with a population that has almost doubled in size. The rapid influx of new residents, however, has placed a heavy burden upon Tinker's school system, especially in terms of ballooning class sizes. To assess the extent of the problem, you created a population pyramid of Tinker residents aged 0 to 18 using the latest census data. At the top of the diagram is the title, and the source of the data is at the bottom. The left side of the pyramid shows the number of males ages 0 to 18 residing in Tinker. The right side shows the distribution of females. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis of Tinker's present and future student body so that the town council can consider its priorities in the upcoming budget. In the beginning, your executive summary should identify the problem facing Tinker schools and why the town council should take heed. For example, Tinker has seen explosive growth in response to our incentive programs and pro-business environment. The turnaround of our local economy, however, has placed an increasing burden upon our schools, with class sizes now threatening the quality of education that Tinker residents value. Next comes the description of Tinker's student demographics. The population pyramid of Tinker's residents aged 0 to 18 is expansive with a wide base. The number of children aged 0 to 1, which is 340 males and 350 females, is 1.47 times larger than the number of children aged 6 to 7, which is 270 males and 200 females, and two times larger than the number of teenagers 14 to 15 years old which is 180 males and 160 females. Ages 6 to 7 and 14 to 15 are important milestones when children typically enter elementary school, grade 1, and secondary school, grade 9. Now comes your call to action. What needs to be done to ensure that Tinker schools adequately meet the education needs of students? Considering that enrollment will steadily increase in the next five years, the Tinker Town Council needs to seriously consider the construction of new schools or additions to existing schools. In addition, it's imperative to immediately determine the maximum number of students that our current facilities can accommodate to ensure that quality education continues in Tinker. In summary, a population pyramid is an effective way to show trends that exist within a population of interest. This type of data visualization can also help service providers determine short and long-term priorities that guide the decision-making process. Once again, thanks for your time, and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.